Welcome to Updater Analytics, the light edition. Uh, my name is David Linton. I founded Updata uh, over 20 years ago now, and I'm very proud of the software that we've created over the t over the years. And I wanted to share with you some of the key features um, in the light edition. Uh, this is our lightweight edition, our entry level system, uh, low cost for any investor or trader who just wants uh, a simple system, yet very powerful that uses the same analytics that uh, many of our professional users use around the world. And so um, this is recorded for you um, if you're running Update uh, Analytics Lite for the first time. This is version 10, our latest edition. Um, and or if you're considering using Updater and you just want to see how it all works. So um, the key thing about Updater is uh, this is the first screen you'll see if you download the Lite edition. Uh, we run on multiple data services. So um, we run on different market terminals, trading platforms, data fields. Um, and databases. So uh, the Light Edition is designed to run on freely available data services. This is services that you don't need a subscription for. Um, that are readily available, and uh, you can configure these uh, in the in the uh, tray icon here um, by configuring feeds, which you will have done at the install stage. Or if you go to open a chart for the first time, you will see, um, depending on what you've configured, a range of services available here. And so these are all freely available services. So here I'm using Yahoo Finance, um, and uh, it's really simple. You can just type in the code that you want, and it will find uh, the the code based on that. Simply double click, and it draw it is drawing that data. Um, from Yahoo Finance, so uh, super quick. Um, and so equally, I could go again, I'm using the space key, by the way, um, to just open the instrument selector. So if you hit the space bar, IEX is another uh, great system. So um, uh, here we're um, running on and uh, on IEX, which is another data feed that you can configure. And the beauty of this service is that it does have intraday data. So by clicking the 60 minute uh, chart here, or I can go there for the 60 minute as well. Um, then I've got all this 60 minute data available to me too. Um, so I'm going to close that chart again and I'll push the space bar again. If I want to look at, say, bar chart free, I could go and uh, type in data from there. Or if I'm wanting to look at Bitcoin data, for example, just type in BTC for Bitcoin. And this chart is now coming from uh, a Bitcoin trading platform, which is uh, freely available uh, as Coinbase. So um, you can see straight away the power of being able to run on multiple data services. Um, and that will allow you to get the different uh, data sets that you want. So uh, looking at the environment within Updater, we start by looking at, uh, we've got these uh, ribbons here. So desktops, uh, the key thing about desktops is you can save a desktop or a layout. Um, and layouts basically uh, allow you to have lots of different layouts available to you, all available to you in the light version. And layouts are the individual layouts that make up a desktop. Um, and you can download these layouts from a lay layout library. So for example, if you want more uh, layouts, if you follow me in Charts Today, for example, and you want to copy the layouts that I'm using, you can take these layouts and download them here. And then they're available to you in the system straight away. So if you want the Charts Today Asia Pacific layout list, you can go and download it and straight away you have exactly the same screen that, that I have. Uh, so going back to your startup screen that you're, you're seeing on your system, um, you can see here we've got it configured for a, a series of different charts. So um, th those are basically the, the main things in the desktops and layouts and you can save your desktops as you go so that it remembers every time you run up data uh, to go and get that data. The charting tools and update are very comprehensive. Uh, so pretty well everything that you can uh, think of here, the chart types, all the different chart types available to you. Um, Indexia um, tools here, so you can actually go and look at, say, something like an Indexia market tracker, um, unique to Updater. And then again, you can actually click on that and uh, you you can actually get uh, the, and you can just clear by pressing the C key, you can just clear uh, any of these indicators off the chart. 
Uh, there's a whole series of different indicators here, moving averages. Again, the quick way to put a moving average on a chart is just to hit the M key, and I will explain to you shortly how you do all the different uh, um, uh, key presses. But uh, really quick, if you want to apply those different uh, key presses here. You can change, of course, the, the level of the windows just uh, by going there, and you can add in as many tools as you want. So it's a really, really complicated and powerful. Um, you can put trend lines on, um, you know, things like Fibonacci fans, you can go and put those on your charts. There's a whole range of tools. And if you want to just undo the last tool, you can just take it off up there with the undo tool. These, of course, also are available on this quick charts bar. The most frequently used ones like trend lines um, are available to you there as well. So click on the chart that you want to draw the trend line on and you can just draw that trend tool straight away on the chart. And if again, if you want to undo it, you can just take it off or you can just press the C key to clear it. So um, play around with these. There's lots of different tools available to you. And you can also select them here from a charts tools uh, list or from tools. And these are the differences that charts, uh, chart types like a MACD is a chart type where, and I could put another chart on there, so I could put, say, the volume, um, and it will, and then I can actually uh, swap these charts around and 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 uh, move them, and then just take them off as well. So really, quite key there. Um, if we want to look at the quote screens, there's lots of different quote screens available to you, and again, we have a watch list library of quote screens. So if I I've downloaded most of them, but these are the ones that are available. So if you wanted, for example, a bar chart free quote screen, you can just uh, take that and it, it's already installed on my system and you can download it. And then I can go and open that screen um, and here we have bar chart free FX. So this is a great place to get your FX data. Um, and if you want to then look at a chart, say let's look at uh, sterling against the dollar, um, we see here we've got um, a price history coming in from bar chart. And again, there's intraday history here as well. Now one thing Updater is extremely powerful about is the point and figure capability. That's a key press and one you really ought to know just on any chart you press the T key and it will put all the trends and targets on the chart. So here we have uh, price targets and if you want to understand how to use point and figure take a look at our training videos for point and figure on our website um, and really uh, a most powerful tool updater is the best point and figure in the world available to you in the light system just click any chart you want so for example we see here on coca-cola if we want to do the same for cisco i just press the t key and it will put the trends and targets on straight away so really powerful uh, in the quote screens as well there's other tools like market map so for example if you wanted to look at uh, let's have a look at the uh, top 50 uh, stocks in Europe today uh, so we can just go and uh, click that list there and we can see here the performance um, and the worst performer Philips there's a profit warning out from them today and we see these candles so we get to see where we are on the range of trading for the day quite a, a nice little screen to have as well uh, so um, really quite key um, the settings menu allows you to go and uh, select um, all the different settings you want. So for example, chart properties, there's all configurability there that you could ever want on chart properties. So if you want to go and change the way something works, you can easily do so. Here's where you find out the keystrokes and you can assign keystrokes as well. So any tool you want, if you want to create a, a keystroke for it, you can. Um, so that's again, really powerful. Uh, other things for quick configuration are just here on the, um, the, the top, tools here so this is a new feature in version 10 um, and it's really really powerful so you might want your charts to have a black background you might want um, a dark blue background I quite like to use that one occasionally and then when I'm recording videos I tend to go back to the white background you can do the same for your quote screens as well so um, you might want to go to white quotes just to make your screen look a little bit clearer or cleaner um, or back to the black quotes. And there's and you can configure as many of these as you want and you can even change your toolbar. So you can go uh, to dark blue and then if you went and changed all your charts to dark blue, you can straight away have the system that you um, want to see. So here you can see you can have the system looking exactly how you want. Uh, I 
quite like using the white background and uh, and th then uh, going back to my sort of windows um, sort of theme and then the help system uh, this is where you'll find our market recording videos each day and demo videos including this one um, and, and then about how you use the system uh, also of course the the key thing with updater is all these ribbons are collapsible so you can actually uh, collapse them just like you would on windows by double clicking the the top as a standard uh, microsoft office tool um, so also one of the th key things that's uh, available to you is uh, just click around and find things so here you can move these to different uh, layouts you can actually detach a window and take it out so it's floating on your desktop and on the charts you'll see there's lots of different um, uh, types as well so I can turn this one here to a tracker chart for example and now that chart will track where I take my mouse and you'll notice how quick the data is in Updater. Our unique caching ability means that you can move around these charts faster than ever. And if we take a look um, at the uh, charts today, which if you're following me on charts today, you can download these same uh, environments as I'm using in charts today. So for example, here we see the um, the uh, charts today um, for Australia Europe you can go and download this um, from the desktops library here uh, in the layouts library and straight away you'll be able to open this same one that I use and so for example um, here if I look at my Dow 30 uh, you watch me each day moving through this data um, and I've got here various different charts I've got a weekly a 1% point in figure a daily a half percent point in figure a daily with averages and volume and a relative strength relative to the Dow Jones index now you don't have to go and set all this up because you just download this same template as me and you can follow me and the same here for Europe so here we see I've got one for the uh, UK market this is the uh, UK uh, top 100 stocks or the top 250 you can rank these straight away so you'll notice if I'm doing charts today I'm normally looking for the worst performer or the best performer here we see live updates coming in from Yahoo Finance so really quite cool there and there's all the chart data freely available within the light system so really powerful and again the same thing um, with uh, the European index so, so you can literally follow me around and follow these and if you want to learn how to use these Ichimoku and point and figure charts then just go to the updated website and grab the videos but the light version is very much designed with uh, simplicity in mind your ability to move around the data and get to anything you want so you can uh, literally go and get all the stocks that you want to look at um, and of course there's global coverage we cover markets uh, as far away as India uh, Australia China so whatever jurisdiction you're looking at so here are the Australian the China stocks uh, these are all in my um, layouts from uh, charts today so you can literally just um, copy me in doing the same uh, so really powerful hopefully you this will get you started in using light and again here we see the live pricing coming in from yahoo finance so why not give it a try download it and copy me each day with charts today and do your own analysis we welcome you aboard